Hi, Electra Ross at the Beta Workshops with Rock and Roll Andy. Hey. And I see we have the Gibson Skylark on the bench. Andy, what's up with that? I was playing a little communication breakdown earlier and it broke down. It's giving me a lot of distortion at really high levels. Well, this amplifier was designed for a very warm, sweet sound. And it's not very powerful, it's less than five watts. A distortion is not one of its traits. So we're gonna have to open it up and see what we can find. This plate here covers up the tubes, so we have to remove it. Sweet. First we'll do is test the power tube. Let's do it. Take it out, put it in the tester. We'll give okay. it a couple more seconds. Now it should be ready for test. Looks pretty good. It does look good. We'll do a life test now. I'll push this and see how fast and how far the needle drops. If it drops slowly like that, there's a lot of life left in that tube. Rock on tube. So we know the power tube is good. We'll have to take the chassis out and dig a little deeper. Got it there. And we have it. Put the tube back. Now tube amplifiers cannot be run without a speaker connected. So I'm gonna use this load resistor. What is a load resistor? It presents itself to the amplifier as would a speaker. So we don't actually have to have anything making noise. We'll turn it on, let it warm up. I'm gonna use this meter to measure the different voltages. In an amplifier such as this, there's three stages with the tubes, and each tube is coupled or connected to the next stage with a device called a capacitor. What the capacitor does is it lets the signal come through without any of the voltage from the tubes. Okay. So we'll test this one, and we see we have voltage on one side, and it should be zero on the other. And this one's showing some voltage there, so that capacitor is probably the problem in this case. No good. So let's go ahead and replace it. We cut out the old one. Add that to your collection of burned out parts. I got a lot. We take the new one. We solder it in place. That looks hot. Nice. All right, now we have the new capacitor in place. Turn it back on. zero on one side and voltage on the other. That should solve our distortion problem. Nice. Well this amplifier should be good for a long time. All the capacitors have been replaced. Like the flux capacitor? No flux capacitor. Let's get the chassis installed in the cabinet so we can give it a try. We'll do it. We'll disconnect the load, connect the speaker, slide it back in. You ready to give this thing a try? I'm ready to give it a whirl. I bet you know where you can find a guitar real quick. Always keep the volume down before you plug in. Sounds pretty good. Ready for the next session. This is Electro Ross at the Beta Workshops. Stay tuned for more. It's really amazing uh, how much of a difference music makes, you know, for the troops and bringing a piece of a home overseas. It was nothing like I had ever expected. Mm -hmm.